So I'm Jen Audley, and I'm here representing the town of Montague. Uh, everybody else on the panel is from closer to Boston. So I want to try to give you an image of where Montague is so that you can kind of understand what's different about the place that I'm talking about. So if you are in Boston, if you go on Route 2 west, 100 miles, to the place where the Connecticut River bisects the state of Massachusetts, which is about two-thirds of the way across, Montague is there. And <laughs> if, you take, if you take Route 91, which goes along the same route as the Connecticut River, we are the second to last exit before you get to Vermont. <laughs> so we are an hour east of Mass Mocha, which is the other big landmark that people know in Western Massachusetts. And we are a small town. We have 8,500 people. And that means that we also are in the smallest category of funding for local cultural councils. So I'm here because I'm the chair of the local cultural council in Montague. And um, another thing that sets me apart from my other panelists is that I think I am the only person on this panel who doesn't get paid for my work. <laughs> So one of the things I'm wondering is, who's in the room with us here today? How, how many of you are from cities? And how many of you are from rural places? And how many of you are from places that are kind of neither or in between those two things? All right, so I've got these two pictures because the other thing I need you to understand about my place is that Montague is a town of 8,500 people. It has five villages. So it has five unique kind of places where people live. I live in Turner's Falls, which is the one that's at the very northern tip where that dramatic bend in the river is. It is a place that has been inhabited by people for thousands of years. It has been inhabited by descendants of Europeans for a few hundred years. It has been a town called Turner's Falls since 1868, when it was built to be a, a, an industrial town. Somebody built a dam, there was hydroelectric power. And so one of the things that's interesting about Montague is that, and Turner's Falls particularly, is that everybody's talking about kind of what are your assets. One of our assets is that even though we're not a city, we have a, a built environment that's city-like. So our downtown is like six blocks, but it has a main street, and it has mixed-use buildings. It has residences with storefronts below, and it's clearly bounded by places where people can work, places where people can worship, places where people can recreate. And so that's been the advantage for us. So the map that's on the right side is showing you Turner's Falls as it was envisioned in our downtown livability plan, which is a very community engaged process of thinking about what kind of place do we want our downtown to be. And it also happens to be a picture of our new cultural district. So that's kind of cool, because that map was made years before we had a cultural district. Um, and I think, that's, I think that's all I'm going to say, because I can probably tell more stories when you have your questions to answer. 